presenting the all new KTM Duke 250 only for India in 2017 by KTM. It's an all new motorcycle which has just arrived in India and all thanks to KTM we can now buy it in India. So let's find out what all are the changes in the bike as compared to the KTM Duke 200 or even the 390. The motorcycle gets an all new engine which is 250cc. The bore remains the same however the stroke is longer as compared to the Duke 200. It produces 30 bhp and 24 newton meters of torque and is a liquid cooled engine. It is a 4 stroke motor and is powered by a 6 speed gearbox. The KTM Duke 250 also gets a slipper clutch which really helps and prevents the wheel from hopping under very hard braking and downshifts. Coming to the brakes, the brakes are from Bybrae. They are radially mounted and the front disc brake is of 300mm which is the leader in that class and the rear is a 230mm disc brake. The frame is now still a tre trellis frame but it now is split. So the subframe which is the rear part of the frame is different and is bolted onto the main frame. What that does is gives more agility and makes the bike even lighter as compared to its predecessor which was the Duke 200 and the frame is lighter than the Duke 200. The bike weighs in at 163 kilograms wet which includes full 13.5 liters fuel and all the engine oil. Coming to the console of the motorcycle, it's the same now found on the RC390 2017. It gets a new canvas system and has host of features in it including distance to empty, average kilometers per liter and also the trip meters. If you compare it to the Duke 390 2017 however, it misses out on the amazing looking LCD display on the console which has a Bluetooth system built in it and many more features. That thing is a full LCD color display but this is a monochrome display which is of amber backlight. Coming to the tank of the motorcycle, it's a new all metal 13.5 litre tank for this motorcycle now. Coming to the seat of this motorcycle, they are now all new and they have been redesigned so that the rider gets all the comfort which was previously lacking on the Duke 200 and the Duke 390. The foam is really good and the padding is really comfortable on this motorcycle now. They have logos on it and they look really really good. Now coming to the tail unit of the motorcycle, they are made completely of LED, the backlight. They look really classy and cool at the same time. And also, coming to the swing arm of the motorcycle, it's the same as the Duke 200, but it gets a huge 46 teeth rear sprocket, which is the biggest in class. The nearest motorcycle which comes to this is the RTR 200 which gets a 45 teeth rear sprocket. The motorcycle also gets a new headlight assembly with LED pilot lamps. However, it misses out the all LED 21 bulb LEDs from the Duke 390. That looks a class apart, trust me. The handlebar now gets a matte black color and gives a really rich feel. And now the switches are backlit with the white instead of blue and they look more white as compared to the previous generations. Also gets automatic headlights on and the motorcycle is also BS4 compliant. The KTM Duke 250 gets split function forks at the front, one for damping, one for rebound, made by WP. And the rear also gets a monoshock which is preload adjustable that is also by WP. The only drawback of this motorcycle is that it lacks ABS. In this modern day 
I really hope ATM would have given ABS on this motorcycle but they missed out on it. Probably in future we might see a variant of it. Who knows? It all depends on KTM. They said it all depends on the market as well. At 1,73,000 rupees X showroom, this is one of the most value for money motorcycles available in India. It directly goes head on with the Domina 400, the Mahindra Mojo and the Royal Enfield Himalayan. Now, to be honest, this is the lightest motorcycle of them all. So it should be an amazing motorcycle to ride as compared to those. So this is definitely here to change the market again and bring back the storm which in 2012 the Duke 200 bought. So thanks for watching guys. Do like and share the video if you want and please do subscribe. Ciao.